ఈ వీడియోలో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ డైల్యూషన్ వాట్ ఈస్ డైల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ అండ్ బేసెస్ అండ్ వీఆర్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ డైల్యూషన్ ఆన్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ అండ్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ బేసెస్ ఈ వీడియో చివరి వరకు చూడండి సో దాట్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ వెల్ we know acids are of two types strong acids and weak acids for example hcl h2so4 hno3 etc these are strong acids right there are weak acids acetic acid formic acid and few more acids right so what differentiates them actually వీక్ యాసిడ్స్కి స్ట్రాంగ్ యాసిడ్స్కి మధ్య డిఫరెన్షియేటింగ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఏంటి అంటే దే డిఫర్ ఇన్ దేర్ ఎబిలిటీ టు డిసోసియేట్ ఇన్ టు అయాన్స్ వెన్ డిజాల్వ్ ఇన్ వాటర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హెచ్సిఎల్ని తీసుకోండి వాటర్లో డిజాల్వ్ చేయండి ఎస్టిక్ యాసిడ్ని తీసుకోండి సిహెచ్ త్రీ సిఓహెచ్ దీన్ని వాటర్లో డిజాల్వ్ చేయండి ఓకే ద వే దే డిసోసియేట్ ఇన్ టు అయాన్స్ ఆర్ the degree of dissociation into ions is going to be different for these two for example hcl this kuna ankonde it is going to dissociate into h plus and cl minus ions right h plus ion and ch cl minus ions kinda split aipothundi right it is going to dissociate into two separate ions and ch3 coh this kuna ankonde it is going to dissociate into ch3 coo minus and h plus ions right now when i say their ability to dissociate into ions and appudu this is also forming ions this is also forming ions but the difference is how many ions are forming for example let's say i have taken water in a beaker 100 ml water iskunna anukonu let me put two droplets of hcl two drops of hcl as an alkana let's say those two drops together containing 10 power 6 hcl molecules okay 10 power 6 hcl molecules only those 10 power 6 molecules approximately 10 power 6 molecules are going to dissociate to form 10 power 6 h plus ions and 10 power 6 cl minus ions okay this is the behavior of strong acids whereas weak acids they don't dissociate 100% they dissociate only partially for example 10 power 6 molecules of acetic acid need we have put into this water plain water then 10 power 6 molecules may not dissociate maybe 10 power 5 to something like 5 into 10 power 5 molecules may dissociate it depends on temperature it depends on various other conditions okay so strong acids completely dissociate into ions when they are dissolved in water adavinda hcl eppudaithe few drops of hcl water lesamo it's going to dissociate completely into h plus ions and cl minus ions same is true with h2so4 h2so4 when you put it then it is going to be 2h plus and so4 2 minus this is one ion and the, these are two hydrogen ions right it is going to completely dissociate how many ever number of uh, acid molecules are there 100% mostly 100% if not 100% 99 point something percent are going to dissociate into ions when it comes to weak acids they dissociate only partially it means not completely into the ions when they are dissolved in water you understood the difference between weak acids and strong acids same is true with even bases for example bases are also of two types strong bases and weak bases right strong bases angane you may recall sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide these are 
use strong bases. Weak bases, ammonium hydroxide, zinc hydroxide, copper hydroxide. These are few examples of weak bases. They also differ in their ability to dissociate into ions when they are dissolved in water. Strong bases completely dissociate into ions when they are dissolved in water. Meaning NaOH, for example, let's say 10 power 7 molecules of NaOH in water. Then all these 10 power 7 molecules are going to form 10 power 7 Na plus and 10 power 7 Na OH minus ions in the solution, right? Same is true with KOH, same is true with CaOH twice. Of course, not 100 percent, Some sometimes it is going to be 99 percent, 98 percent like that. When it comes to weak bases, they dissociate only partially, not completely into ions when they are dissolved in water. So, for example, zinc hydroxide ni, 10 power 7 zinc hydroxide molecules ni you put in water. For example, then what happens after some time you observe maybe only 10 power 5 are dissociated into Zn plus, Zn2 plus and 2 OH minus ions. Right? That is the difference. Understood? Strong bases. They completely dissociate. Weak bases, they only partially dissociate. Understood? Let us now learn about dilution. Dilution is about adding more water to a given acid or a base solution. And we can dilute acids, we can dilute bases. Dilution is about adding more water to a given acid. Are given base right for example we can dilute H2SO4 we can dilute HCl we can dilute any OH solution right so let us take 10 ml of water in a test tube and add few drops of concentrated H2SO4 and mix them well by swirl the test tube slowly slow the test tube ni shake chair in water and a swirl motion of chair to shake chair in water, you can mix the content well. Okay, let's say I have a few drops of concentrated H2SO4 as now, right? A few drops, of, let's say they make 0.5 ml. I have 10 ml of water here. Total now, after mixing, I have 10.5 ml, right? 10.5 ml of the solution. This is called dilute hydrochloric H2SO4 acid, right? Initially, I started with concentrated H2SO4. Few drops of concentrated H2SO4 I have added to 10 ml of water. Now, end of this process, I have dilute sulfuric acid of volume 10.5 ml. Of course, it can be further diluted. I can take one more liter of water and add whatever dilute H2S buffer I got here, 10.5 ml, right? This I can pour into one liter of water such that I will be having one liter 10.5 ml dilute H2S buffer solution, right? So what is happening in this process? In this process, the amount of H2S buffer available per unit volume of the solution is changing. Okay, please note that. And you have to also note that this dilution is exothermic process. It means when you are mixing, heat is going to liberate. Okay, for that reason, we have to be conscious while diluting either acids or bases. In the coup, since it is exothermic process. Okay, lot of heat can, can get generated. For example, you you, are, you have, uh, you, you are holding, let's say, a test tube and mixing these two. Correct me finger on a position alone, let's say, lot of heat got generated and you couldn't hold it. You may throw it off, right? That's a risk. That is one risk one, one has to worry about. That's why one has to mix well. So that whatever amount of heat generated, it is taken away 
by the liquid surrounding it quickly understood and another thing is for safety reasons we should not add please note this we should not add water to the acid or water to the base to dilute them manam acids ni dilute cheyochu ani cheppam bases ni dilute cheyochu ani cheppam and we it, it is about adding more water right in this process you should not add water to the acid or wa water to the base instead what you have to do is you have to add acid to water please see this acid to water is the right thing not water added to the acid water to acid don't add water to the acid add acid to the water this is the right in the ku safety reasons for example when you are doing this let's say i have taken acid in a beaker and now i am trying to add water to it some splash happens okay splashing vachind anukundam because of you know excessive heat liberated and there is some vapor forming splash vachind anukundam the splash can have lot of concentrated acid a splash lo వచ్చిన యాసిడ్ డ్రాప్స్ మీ మీద పడితే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ రిస్క్ రైట్ సో బెటర్ ఈస్ నాట్ డూ దాట్ వే వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ వాటర్ ఇన్ దిస్ బీకర్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ పోరింగ్ లిటిల్ బిట్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్ అండ్ స్లోలీ మిక్సింగ్ ఇట్ దెన్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ స్ప్లాష్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వాట్ యూ గెట్ ఈస్ వాటర్ అవుట్ రైట్ సో రిస్క్ ఈజ్ వెరీ మినిమల్ హియర్ అదే యాసిడ్ స్ప్లాష్ అయి మీద పట్టడం అంటే ఇట్స్ గోయింగ్ టు బర్న్ రైట్ బర్న్ యువర్ స్కిన్ so that that is why you should never add water to the acid or water to the base instead add acid to the water or base to the water and mix them well to avoid hot spots locally for example mix cheyak pote ganaka konni chotla ekkadaithe reaction ee dilution and exothermic process jarugutundo there can be some hot spot ante aa particular points lo ekku heat liberate ayi akkade local ga undadam valla there can be raise in temperature at those local hot spots and the gurinchi we have to mix them well while diluting okay now we said that dilution is about adding more water to a given acid of course i said that we should not add water to acid we should add acid to water right dilution please remember this dilution is not going to change nature of acids or bases we said there are strong acids right and weak acids dilution is not going to change nature of acids or bases strong acids evaithe unnayo hcl ilanti vi they'll dissociate 100% whether they are in dilute form or concentrated form weak acids unnay ankonde whether they are in dilute form or in concentrated form they are not going to dissociate 100% right the dilution is not going to change nature of acids or bases okay it means the degree of dissociation is not going to get affected what is going to get affected is concentration of the acids dilution leads to change in concentration with dilution the number of available hydrogen plus ions per unit volume of acidic solution decreases for example i have let's say 1 ml of concentrated hcl right it also has let's say 1 ml has got concentrated hcl 1 ml has got 10 power 23 molecules meaning since it is a strong acid and concentrated hcl also has got some amount of water in it right it is a liquid right so it has got some amount of water that's why let's say it is dissociated into 10 power 23 h plus and 10 power 23 cl minus ions right so this is per 1 ml now i am adding this 1 ml to 1 liter water to dilute it right 
in 1 ml these many molecules are there or these many ions are there right now when i mix this with 1 liter of water 1 liter now contains 10 power 23 h plus ions and 10 power 23 cl minus ions you see that what happened the dilution lead to change in number of available h plus ions per unit volume e solution only 1 ml this then i am going to have only 10 power 21 h plus ions 10 power 21 cl minus ions right that is initial 10 power 23 molecules 10 power 23 h plus ions here 10 power 21 h plus ions you understood the difference dilution is not going to change the nature of acids or bases but what it is going to change is number of available h plus ions per unit volume of the acidic solution okay same is true with even bases with dilution of num with dilution the number of available oh minus ions per unit volume of basic solution is going to change if i dilute it more the number of available oh minus ions per unit volume of the solution is going to decrease you understood and reactivity of dilute solution is going to be lower compared to that of the concentrated solutions right for example let me take this example zn plus 2 hcl giving rise to zn cl2 plus h2o no h2 gas right so in this case if you look at one molecule of zn or one atom of zn reacts with two molecules or two molecules of HCl right now I have a Zn slab if I put one drop of HCl concentrated HCl then it has got let's say 10 power 23 HCl molecules meaning lot of reaction can happen here right compared to that if I have the same slab and if I put dilute HCl, which has got 10 power 21, or let's say even, even highly diluted, let's say only 10 power 10 HCl molecules are there in one droplet. Okay, now what happens? The reaction rate is low, right? The reactivity of dilute solutions is lower. And the concentrated solutions can have faster reaction, vigorous reactions. Dilute solutions have slower reaction rates. Please note this. Okay.